Hey everybody, this is Grace, and I, I want to, I mentioned something in the video, I don't know which channel I put it on, but it was about, um, this thing, let me fix it, about, um, seeing something online when, for a while now, I'm, I don't name channels, I don't, uh, shout out anybody, and I don't point fingers, and, you know, but just seeing something I felt all the while, I couldn't make this into hypothetical fiction or say it's a Darla's view. <laughs> I have characters I uh, write. I did a very, very rough draft recordings. Very rough. And uh, that's a kind of little bit of a joke. But, uh, you know, of observations and just make it fictional. You know? Like, um, seeing, seeing people who other people are kind of, um, picking on, but not really picking on them. It's not like they're, you know, a lot of people do that picking on stuff, you know, online. And these are supposedly, allegedly, grown adults. Grown adults. Okay, anyway. Uh, let me see if I can get out of here. Um... What was I talking about? I had to stop there for recording there for a while. But yeah, there you know, people who are grown adults picking fun at people. But anyway, they weren't really picking fun at her. It was just that, you know, when people uh, they just too many people just think that they can do whatever they want. And that that's not just not the case. Okay. You you can't be stepping all over people. You know, other people and that think that the people have no uh <laughs> can't say no and can't point you out that you're doing wrong and you're stepping all over them and uh, okay and, and something I want to m mention with this and I've seen this around a lot going on around the, well that's not the road I turned down the wrong one but uh there are two roads out here one's Park and one's Parker <laughs> it's a parallel to one another one right after the other yeah it's easy to get a little bit confused Oh, don't you walk across like that, mister. But, anyway. I don't think he should be walking across at all. Anyway, uh... He's not too steady. Anyway, um... What was I talking about that, that just kind of threw me off? Anyway, what, I, what I've seen a lot and heard a lot, and it's in various... I've seen this in, across different genres and different... Over years on and off, and I've even asked about this myself, uh, well, in a way, not, not exactly this thing, uh, but it's about fair use, and people who are they, you know, they're going around taking other people's um, uh, clips of other people's channels, you know, what people make, the first time I ever saw it, it was that somebody do that, um, you know, make a video of somebody else's work, the guy was thought of as a real big creep, seriously. It wasn't just me who thought of him that way. You know, somebody who do that. And more sense that it seems like it's rather becoming more popular. But I don't know if other people just see them as the same way as such creeps. You know, that do stuff like that. It's kind of like the, uh, like, you know, the hall monitors, but they're the mean girls, mean boy hall monitors. You know, there's nothing wrong with hall monitors. But when you're a mean girl or mean boy, hmm. You know, they, they must have changed the speed limit here or something because so too many people don't want to go it. Don't want to travel the speed limit. Mm, yeah. Anyway, I'll monitor, right? <laughs> no, now see, somebody say, hey, that's the speed limit is, is right there is 35 and you shouldn't be going 55. So that's the difference. Okay, my, my phone went crazy, but there's a different story than what I'm talking about. Is the people who, anything, I mean, I don't like either one of them. I don't like the people who are doing it, and I don't like the people they're talking about. Okay, so it's not a, that kind of thing. I'm an independent, really, seriously. Okay, I don't know if I can get out this way. I probably should go do a UE. Let's go do a UE. Somewhat of a UE. But anyway, um... What was I talking about? Yeah. <laughs> you see how real life happens in the middle of video. But, uh... Oh, boy. Anyway. Um, you 
know, these people who are, they, they, and they, to me, I call them Shelby's. You know, it's unisex. Shelby, the word name Shelby is unisex. Um, so it can be male or female or whatever. I mean, however people identify themselves. And uh, it's not my business. It's none of my business. Um, but anyway, the ones who, you know, people who truly think that they, they know, you know, they call them know-it-all. Some people don't seem to understand that. Of course, nobody's saying you you are one who knows it all, and that you're actually saying I know it all. But you're hinting at that your rule, the way you think of it, should be the rule for all. You know, okay, come on, one little. What they call, I hate that word. <laughs> it sounds so creepy. Speaking of creepy, the word straggler. <laughs> I used to call it scraggler. Or that's even worse. I didn't. I don't like the word. But anyway, people who. Uh, you know, they get online and they just think that their word is, you know, the way they see it is the way everybody should see it. Oh, my alarm went off. For my medication, my diabetes medication. I had to get home and take it. But, um, you know, they, they just, and, and they, some people actually think that they are, they, they are, they, they really know what they're talking about. And they really don't. It depends on what field it's in. Uh, some of them now. Okay, between the loud muffler man and the uh, music man beside me. It was kind of loud there for momentarily. But uh, anyway, um, so they, they go around, you know, making things like, you know, that, that they really don't know what they're talking about. Like there's things that I taught at college and university. I would know the, about those and I can say they don't know what they're talking about. Okay, they would fail my class. <laughs> Seriously. Okay, what more can I say? You know, I'm not young. I'm not a young woman. And uh, I taught between being a career student, and I just kept learning and teaching. Yeah. They, they don't know what they're talking about. But they put it out there. They don't even say, this. I know what I'm talking about. Like, this is what I'm trying to say. But they put it out there in such a voice that uh, everybody should believe them because they think so. Okay, their, their voice, they think, see, yeah, I, this is stuff I study, and, uh, but no, and uh, seriously, so, you know, all these, these kind of things coming up to get, you know, coming against one another, when um, we're involved in the whole of it, and somebody says, no, uh-uh, you know, they might have, like, a little bit of a, I don't want to call it, say it, call it infatuation, because it's not the same kind of infatuation that many people would think about. But when they, you know, basically they they find this person is so interesting and so, and seems to know so much about so much, and then they start saying, oh, no, this person is got got something that's not right about them. Okay, and I had something like that. Happen. It doesn't really happen, happen much to me anymore. I, although I will say, you know, I'll, I'll go in and I'll see a new healthcare professional. And I say, they they were really good. But some people can be really good. But then, like within that, or the, I mean, say the next time, some true colors come out. We all know people are good at master. You know, some people are good at master manipulation. You know, they, they, they put on that good front the first time. I don't like the term people use. Some people use. They put on that um, good front, and then their true colors come out eventually. And I say, I don't want to eat my words anymore. <laughs> you know, I say, that person's, you know, this, that. Until I see, is it going to come out? And that happened to me recently. But as far as online, um... And I said, I had actually said, I'm going to reserve my opinion of this new doctor. And I did. I reserved my opinion. And I, but I did say, I think I said, you know, I felt like he you know, knew, kind of knew his stuff. That's the difference than his personality. Turns out it's pretty rotten. Hopefully he just had a bad day. But you know how some of us say, you just had a bad day. I don't care if you have a bad day. You're not taking it out on me. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> See? Yeah. Anyway. Um, and that's, that's kind of in a way that kind of feels like the people who get to online, like they they feel maybe in fear. Well, that is would be uh, possibly a good chance that they really truly feel inferior, and so they they 
um, have an inferiority complex, but they mask it with a superiority complex, and uh, you know, then they act like they're better than the other these other people, when yet there's a, quite a bit of hypocrisy there, and it's not something they had studied, so they would know about it. It's just something that they want to say that they're superior. They may have just looked it up on the internet at that moment. I wouldn't allow my students to look up anything on the internet. Seriously. Because my alarm went off again and I had snoozed it. But, um, yeah, because not all the stuff you find on the internet, you know, is real. Seriously. But, uh, it's not fact. Not all of it. And they aren't, they weren't at that stage where they would know the difference between fact and fiction when it comes to these things. So, anyway, I think I'm going to wrap this up. But anyway, seeing all that.